Hello everyone, it's Robert Earl White with the Order of Light here today to talk about a deathbed confession coming from a gentleman named Marvin Hume. Marvin was 91 and a half years old in 2015, unfortunately when he passed away. He worked for the McDonnell Douglas Aerospace Company. He also served in World War II where he even took shrapnel in his foot. He was a true patriot and hero, and in this interview he did shortly before he died, he has revealed a lot of interesting information that I'm about to present to you from these transcripts of his last interview. I want to encourage everyone out there, if you've served in the military or if you've had an experience, please contact me and share your story before it's too late. Too many people wait until their deathbeds to reveal these great truths. So please contact me. You can find more information in the description in my direct me link. Thank you so much. In a universe with so many unanswered questions, the vast stretches of the unknown and the unanswered and the unfinished still far outstripe our collective comprehension. We will shed light onto the darkness. We will explore the universe to find what is really out there. We are the disclosure. We are the order of light. What I am about to read is the continuation of the transcript between this reporter and Marvin Hume. This is the conversation in the transcript. Anyway, I was sent home and went to work for McDonnell Douglas in St. Louis where I worked for 10 years. I was an engineer there. We built the famous Phantom. I had a good job. I worked on the design of John Glenn's space capsule and even worked on UFOs. The reporter says, UFOs? Tell me about that. Marvin. Well, a lot of people didn't know about UFOs. I was giving photographs and film by the government of UFOs flying, and I had to do line projection drawings showing the height and dimensions of the craft in relation to the size of other objects. It was done using a technique called triangulation, in which you can determine the size and shape of an object in relation to what's around it, as well as its speed. McDonnell Douglas was one of the prime contractors for the government. We saw crafts that would be traveling at speeds of 5,000 miles per hour. You worked in that department with your mouth shut. For 35 years, I never told anyone about the pictures or the work. Reporter, so these were craft from other worlds? Marvin, yes, you know we're still minute animals. Make no mistake about that. They know we're here. We know of three or four different types of creatures in Wright-Patterson Airfield. There have been UFO crashes throughout the world. They have 26 cadavers. This is not common knowledge, but to a few. Reporter, how much of our own aerospace technology comes from extraterrestrial craft? Marvin, you know the stealth bomber? We have that because of solid crafts that were seen on radar and then they would disappear and then reappear. On that research, they built the stealth bomber. Reporter, there are light years between us and the nearest star. Do these creatures travel through linear space to get here? Marvin, no. Reporter, do they travel through another dimension? Marvin, they would have to. There's a reason so much of this is kept quiet, mostly because of the mentality of the human race. How many people could honestly hold that knowledge in their head without it upsetting or confusing them? We are just scratching the surface. Porter, it's been theorized that the dawn of the atomic age signal extraterrestrial life to take interest in us. Do you agree with this? Marvin, Absolutely, that's common knowledge. You can gauge that by the number of sightings after the war. I suppose they realized there were some little creatures on this planet that were fooling around with some dangerous stuff. Reporter, tell me more about your time at McDonnell Douglas. Marvin, while I was there, one of the guys in the department asked me if I wanted to go to a rock show. It was a national convention of minerals and fossils that introduced me to minerals. It overwhelmed my mind. The reporter, 
What was it about rocks and minerals that intrigued you so much? Marvin, let me show you and come with me. At this point, with the aid of his walker, Marvin leads the reporter to his living room and turns on one of the lights to show the reporter the large display of cases of rocks, crystals, and minerals. At this point, it goes off topic and he starts to talk more about rocks and minerals. This is a very interesting case and although it's not a long conversation, some of the things that Marvin mentioned are absolutely mind-blowing and he was personally working with these projects. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and set a reminder for up and coming videos. I really appreciate it. For additional information, contact a merchandise store. Click the direct me link in the YouTube description. Thank you so much. Love and light. This is Robert Earl White with the Order of Light. We are the Disclosure.